Hi there Pisces, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 30th of November. As this week begins, Neptune, your co-ruler, continues to be hugely influential. She's angling up in a right angle to Saturn and will do so for the rest of December. But also, as this week begins, it's also forging a right angle to the Sun which is side by side with Saturn. All this suggests that your worldly interaction, your role in life and even your personal identity about who you are and how people see you may be in a state of flux. If you're someone who's very, very clear-minded about what you're trying to achieve, this can be a week of enormous progress because both Mars and Mercury are forging very influential links which can drive you on and give you the determination to overcome obstacles but also be very imaginative in your approach. Step outside the way people normally do things and very much be a pathfinder rather than a follower of fashion. But the problem is that the angle between the Sun and Saturn and Neptune could make you feel sluggish or even a bit disillusioned or feeling that you don't quite have the self-confidence and the qualities to achieve some of the goals that you've had more recently. You've got to try and be realistic. It is true that Neptune can be very confusing. It can also dissipate our core energies. So do take things one step at a time, but you must stay on track with the things that only recently you were so enthusiastic about. And it's true also that Venus is in a part of your horoscope which has given you a great deal of passion along with Mars and Mars is forging a great link itself to both the Sun and also Saturn. And Mars is a planet which is about our desire and your desires can be very strong and all Mars, all Saturn and the Sun are doing is just saying to you that whatever you're trying to do it's probably going to be quite obvious to other people and you need to be conscious of the impact you're going to make and perhaps the impression that this will also have on others too. However, there is a quarter moon in your opposite sign on Thursday, which is trickier. And this suggests that the way you come across to people, you can't be too laissez-faire about it. You can't just assume everything will fall into place. Be conscious of who you're talking to and what their agenda is. I'm not saying you should change who you are, but just be conscious of it and if you're mindful of this, you'll much more likely come across in a positive way. Financially, this could be a week when you have a bit of fortune, but it could come about in a very unexpected manner. So if an opportunity comes up, you must be ready to seize upon it as Mercury dazzles with Uranus. However, as the week draws to a close, Venus relocates into a part of your horoscope that's very much to do with truth finding. So if you are in a romantic relationship that's had its ups and downs, or you've met somebody new, this will help you to think a little bit more deeply about what you want. But if you're single, someone quite exotic or different can really capture your imagination over the festive holidays. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.